Apparently men, uh, Helen, are toxic, uh, according to Benedict Cumberbatch, another rich, privileged, white male, telling us all that we should shut up and listen to women because only women have the sense that uh, we don't have. I mean, what's, what's all this about? Why suddenly are men all te terribly toxic? I think Benedict Cumberbatch is polishing his image. Yes. This is all part of the woke thing with actors. So that's the first observation. The second observation is why are we listening to these people? At well, all? that's a very good point. I mean, why? I, I have you no know, interest. What, what it... things can, what is that? What is it that Benedict Cumberbatch can do? He's very good at convincingly saying lines that somebody else wrote yes so always remember that an actor or an actress is essentially a glove puppet <laughs> and someone else's hand is up their backside yes. manipulating the mouth as the words come out now the person with the hand up the backside is typically a, a script writer mm. yeah a writer a novelist or whatever and you're not you don't don't necessarily and i'll be quite frank about this despite being a successful novelist uh, you don't necessarily have to listen to us either. But with actors, remember that e you are at an even firm because literally the job of an actor is to say somebody else's words prettily. Mm. Why yes. are we taking these people remotely seriously? No, it's interesting, isn't it? Because they do this for a while. They become successful and then they think that uh, people actually care what they say, even though most of what they say is written for them by somebody else, as, as you say. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's a bit like... Um, when they all get very, very left wing, the richer they get, the more they want people to um, be kinder to the poor. And, you know, the bigger the house they get, uh, the more, you know, philanthropy they want to practice. And they keep and telling the us... More, and the more private jet flights they take yes. whilst preaching about climate change. It's yes. just, it's once again, it's like night follows yes. day. But, I mean, this <laughs> idea that toxic masculinity is kind of invading the world, you kind of go, there's a lot more to be worrying about, really, isn't there? I'm going to make a recommendation here even though I haven't yet read his book, I will be reviewing it for CapEx. Okay. There's a very good book called, a very good interview by Will Storr, Storr spelled S-T-O-R-R, -R, Will as in short for William, okay. on trigonometry. You can get it off their YouTube channel. That's Constantine Kizen and Francis Foster. Yes. And it's about Will Storr's latest book called The Status Game. And one of the arguments that will, amongst many others, mm. the, most of the interview is about cancel culture, to refer back to the J.K. Rowling stuff yeah. that we were talking about earlier. Most of the interview is about cancel culture. But anyway, Storr, who's obviously got some sort of background in psychotherapy or, or, or psychiatry, points out that it's actually a way of achieving status. People yeah. do this to get status. Yes, yeah, a sort of virtue signalling deal, isn't it? Yeah. And he then makes a connection, a very, and this is why I, I want to review his book, read his book and review it. He then makes a connection with people achieving status, including men, but many women, simply by putting men down as a group. And it's a type of status game. It's a type of showing that you are virtuous yeah. rather than showing that you are competent. So you're not saying that you're a better actor than X male or a better writer, or you're not trying to show that you can do something as an individual that this other mm. person can't do. Yeah. You are purely doing it. So you're not showing any competence. You are purely doing it to show virtue in order to gain status yes. without any real effort, without any real achievement. And anyway, right at the end, and I don't mind averting to this but you should watch the interview with trigonometry that will store has done yeah. um is his comment to the effect that i mean this is obvious nonsense it's like you know it's like pretending because black crime rates are higher than white crime rates in london that all black people are criminals yeah you know this this is nonsense yeah. and he thinks that if it continues to happen his concern is that the men's rights activists who are considered a bit of a joke now will finish up having a real argument, a real and genuine argument. And the problem is they will also have a real constituency. Mm. So instead of being an intelligent and adult, our conversation about you know, why are there fewer of these people in, in positions of authority, instead of doing what the Sewell report did and tried to disaggregate all the data, you get Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch getting up in public and telling men to shut up. Yes. Maybe we should start with him. Well, that's what I said. Go, back to, reading your li go yeah. back to reading your lines. <laughs> yeah, we're finally, we're finally <laughs> on the same page. A good place to end. Thank you very much indeed. Ellen Dale, uh, writer, lawyer, political commentator.